Rocks are everywhere. The ground you walk on, the mountains you see, and even some buildings are made of rock. But did you know there are three main types of rocks? Each one forms in a different way. Let's explore igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks, and the incredible rock cycle that keeps them changing. Igneous rocks. The word igneous comes from the Latin word ignis, which means fire. That's because these rocks form from molten rock, either magma deep underground or lava from a volcano. There are two main types of igneous rocks. Extrusive igneous rocks form when lava cools quickly above the Earth's surface. Because they cool so fast, they have tiny or no crystals. Examples include basalt, a dark, dense rock that makes up most of the ocean floor, obsidian, a smooth, shiny rock that looks like black glass, pumice, a super light rock full of holes. It can even float on water. Intrusive igneous rocks form when magma cools slowly underground. Because they take longer to cool, they develop large crystals. Examples include granite, a colorful rock with speckles of different minerals. Many kitchen countertops are made from granite. Diorite, a rough, speckled rock used in ancient carvings. Fun fact, the entire Earth's crust is made of about 90% igneous rock. Sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are made from layers of tiny pieces of rock, minerals, or even once living things. Wind, water, and ice break down other rocks into small bits called sediments. Over time, these sediments settle in rivers, lakes, and oceans. With pressure, they harden into rock. Some common types of sedimentary rock include sandstone, made from tiny grains of sand pressed together. Limestone, formed from ancient sea creatures and shells. It often contains fossils. Shale, a smooth, dark rock formed from clay. Conglomerate, a rock made from pebbles and sand cemented together. Did you know, many fossils, like dinosaur bones, are found in sedimentary rocks. Metamorphic means change of form. These rocks start as igneous or sedimentary rocks, but heat and pressure deep underground change them into something new. Some examples of metamorphic rocks include marble. This smooth, beautiful rock starts as limestone, but changes under heat and pressure. Many statues and buildings are made from marble. Slate, formed by shale. This rock is often used for chalkboards and roofs. Quartzite, a super hard rock that comes from sandstone. Fun fact, the word metamorphic comes from Greek, meaning to transform, just like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. The rock cycle. Rocks are always changing. Over millions of years, rocks can transform into different types through a natural process called the rock cycle. Here's how it works. Igneous rocks break down into tiny pieces forming sediments. These sediments get buried and pressed together, forming sedimentary rocks. If heat and pressure are high enough, sedimentary rocks turn into metamorphic rocks. 
If metamorphic rocks melt, they become magma. When magma cools, it forms igneous rocks. And the cycle starts all over again. Did you know? Some of the oldest rocks on Earth are over 4 billion years old. Man-made rocks Humans have been making their own versions of rocks for thousands of years. Some examples include concrete, a mixture of cement, water, sand, and gravel, used in buildings, sidewalks, and roads. Bricks, made from clay and heated until they harden. Ancient civilizations used bricks to build cities. Mock rock, artificial rock used in landscaping and even movie sets. Rocks are more than just hard things on the ground. They tell the story of our planet. From fiery volcanoes to deep sea fossils, Every rock has a history millions of years in the making. Next time you're outside, pick up a rock. What do you think its story is? Thanks for joining us. For more information and resources about rocks, head to twinkle.com.